Hey everybody, happy Saturday. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the Norton Internet Security 2009 review. Um, there's a few things that's going to, a few things that are going to change in this review. Um, I'm going to go ahead and list what items were missed by uh, by Norton or or whatever antivirus we're reviewing at the time, and I'm also going to upload a hijack this log so you can see exactly uh, which items were missed. Um, and some people ask me, well, how do I know Norton actually missed those items? I'll be uh, testing those items against VirusTotal.com because VirusTotal will tell me if it is a piece of malware or it isn't. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, Norton is one of those products that everyone loves to hate. And people always ragged on it saying it was too slow. And it was way too slow for many, many years. And every particular piece of uh, malware out there targeted it. Because let's face it, I mean, they have market share. They always have and continue. And I have another installer trying to install. Okay, it's actually going now. I'm also going to upload my bloopers, too, because I have plenty of those. I thought some of them are kind of funny. Because there are a ton of them. Because when you're reviewing these products, uh, this PC is so unstable. <laughs> it's almost hard to even work on anymore. If I shut off the internet connection, I can usually do my review okay. And let me tell you, this particular um, infected uh, machine is nothing compared to what I see on a daily basis. Some of the machines I see are so bad that I have to take them home from the customer's house and um, fix them on my own time at home. This takes forever. Even with a bootable CD, it takes forever. And a lot of a lot of other people have um, uh, a lot of other people have asked me to create a video on how I how I clean a PC, um, and I'm going to do that uh, later this week. So the Norton installer, I think I, I downloaded a 15-day trial. Really easy to download the trial. They don't make you fill out any really any big info. It's just like name, email address. Um, um, I think it is, how big is it? Hang on. Let me see. Well, oh, I'm on my host PC. It's working right now, so. I'm actually just trying to right-click and get file properties. It's 58.5 megabytes, so it's kind of a big install. And I, I can tell you, I did kind of uh, review this first. I kind of took a look at it first, and it's a massive application. So this review is going to be probably close to eight or nine parts. It's not bad. I mean, it's installing pretty quickly on on this really really infected PC. And and once again, I I always have to state everybody always knows this but there are new people joining my channel every day on YouTube um, that no antivirus is perfect and uh, the only way to be sure that your 100% malware free is to reformat your PC no matter what anyone tells you because uh, someone can make a piece of malware just for you that no particular antivirus knows about it happens a lot in uh, 
um, like nation cyber warfare where you have nations going at each other or um, where businesses are going at each other and they'll plant like a root kit on, on some competition PC, that kind of thing. And it's just custom made for that particular nation or organization. Our goal is just to get the PC uh, running as normal as possible, have it on for a few days, make sure there's no pop-ups like the one you just saw here, um, analyze the ports, make sure there's no uh, there's no crazy open ports that are listening and communicating. That's about all you can really do. So it's kind of a long install process. So this is, says it's installing drivers right now. Uh, please wait. Starting services. And um, I can't remember when I started this video, so I'm just going to pause it real quick and we'll move on to part two here.